Hi guys, this is Akla Kamir. Welcome back to my channel once again. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video, so I thought I'd uh, just come on and uh, just do one. So, uh, yeah, guys, so today we're going to do a, a bit of... Uh, if you saw my last video on dodging and burning, it's kind of like that, but I've kind of like expanded on it, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to sort of like retouch this image, which I took last year. So just sort of like basically tidy it up a bit using a bit of... Uh, airbrushing, dodging and burning everything. So without further ado, guys, let's just get straight stuck in. So uh, as I said, I took this image last year. So the first things first, we're just going to just duplicate this uh, layer and this background. So now what we want to do is we just want to sort of like tidy up a bit, you know, just with the uh, skin and everything. So the first things first then guys I'm just gonna use my uh, healing the spot healing brush and then I'm just gonna just zoom in one sec right right so yeah so I'm just gonna sort of like just basically if you saw this uh, on my last video I was doing uh, a bit of this as well so I'm just gonna sort of like go just take this guy a bit down so we don't want it too strong so the idea here is basically we're just gonna sort of like just kind of like tidy up a bit you can see again you know uh, just a bit of marks on the body there and just sort of like it's basically tidy up uh, yeah and again you can see the uh, hair as well it's all over the place so we just want to kind of like it's basically tidy it all up and then you know the best way to uh, go about this obviously is just uh, you know just go one by take each step at a time so for example I could uh, sort of like be working on the hair now and then work my way down to the face and then body if that makes sense so yeah, the idea is just to tidy up first before we go on to uh, any other steps. And then I'm just going to bring the size of this brush a bit down. Yeah, and uh, as I said, you know, if you saw my previous video on dodging and burning, I, I did mention in there, you know, uh, it doesn't always have to look perfect, you know, just... Um, you know you can always make it look maybe you can leave a bit of uh you know blemishes just to make it look uh, very uh, genuine authentic you know you don't the last thing you don't want is you know just making a a photo look very fake you know the whole idea of photography is just sort of like making it pleasing to the uh, audience's eye if you like and yeah just take it from there now you can see here if I zoom in on the face you know you can see all of these uh, little marks and blemishes you know so we're just gonna go with the uh, flow here and then I'm just gonna yeah so the last time uh, the last time I did a, a video, it was in December, just I think it was before or after Christmas. So we're in the new, new year now. So just thought I may as well just do a video just to kick things off for 2021. And uh, yeah, I just want to, whilst I'm doing this, I just want to take the opportunity to uh, thank everyone who supported this channel. Uh, you know, um, you know, by all means, you can share this, like, subscribe, do whatever, and it will really help me a lot to do more of these videos in the future. Uh, I will be doing more stuff as well, you know, like setting up my, how I normally take my headshots, how I use the uh, color gels, as just as I've done in this image here. Uh, you know, I'll be doing all that stuff, but obviously because we're in lockdown, you know, I can't actually call models to my uh, studio at the moment until uh, 
these uh, lockdown restrictions are lifted, you know. But there's going to be a lot of exciting uh, stuff happening on this channel, so you don't want to miss that, guys. But yeah, going back to this, we just want to sort of like get rid of all that. Like I say, guys, you know, an image doesn't have to look, always have to look perfect, you know. As long as you uh, try to make it look as good as you can, that's all that counts, you know. And then, just going to have a look at that. Now, what I think I might want to do here is I just want to go on to uh, Windows Arrange and then if I go and then I want to go to, uh, to Vertical. Now, I think it's uh, Vertical, yeah. Uh, I think it's, uh, I, I'm going to sort that out afterwards. Uh, basically, you can uh, just get an image side to side so you can see what... Uh, what's going on but I'm using uh, two monitors anyway so that shouldn't be an issue anyway remember guys if you do make a mistake and uh, you know just pr uh, press ctrl and uh, z if you want to redo things you know don't think it's too late and you know you can always undo stuff afterwards so that's the main thing I'm just gonna go slightly over here. Let's get rid of these uh, bit of an eye line here. So notice uh, how over here I've got the opacity in fifty-five uh, percent. You know that that's about right. Uh, well, for this image it is anyway. So maybe if you're working on your own image, you might want to like consider something a bit more light or stronger depending on how the uh, image is uh, presented I'm just gonna zoom out of this guy here then we're just gonna go right there now I'm just gonna use the uh, before and after so you can see right here guys it already is making a a bit of difference you know we are gonna we are going to like make more changes as we go along but you can see here what i've done so it's kind of like smoothing the uh, skin out a little bit and that's exactly what we want Then we just sort of like want to just kind of like neaten the hair out a bit. Right, I think that that's uh, looking as uh, good as it gets here. But now what we want to do is, guys, if you saw my uh, last video, I showed you a bit of uh, dodging and burning. Now, uh, in the last video, I created uh, two layers, dodge and burn, whereas here... I'm just going to do something a bit slightly different. So I'm going to use uh, an action here. So what I want here is the uh, dodge and burn. Now I've got quite a few different dodging and burn ones here. Don't ask why. I think it's uh, a lot of them actually uh, create extra layers. Just don't ask me why it just is what it is there. Can you see over here it's done it for me so I don't have to... Uh, I don't have to uh, manually create two uh, layers as I did in my last video. And then what you want to do is make sure uh, this is selected on white. And then also what we want here is uh, it's going to go on the dodge. Then make sure the uh, paintbrush is selected. And notice over here I've got a flow of 3%. Uh, because I feel 3% is... Uh, exactly uh, good enough for what I want it on this image so it's gonna make sure this is uh... now I'm not sure if you can, you guys can actually see this but 
every time I'm clicking my mouse onto the face, I'm not sure if you can see a bit of uh, effect. It is bringing the lights out. So uh, when when I've done all this, I am gonna. I am going to do like um, a before and after so you can see uh, what it's actually done. So again, we just want to... Uh, there you can see it is making a bit of difference. The reason why you can't tell so much is because I've uh, bumped it on uh, 3%. So, you know, I don't want to go like too crazy on this, you know make it just right because uh, for this particular shot i used the soft box to uh brighten up the brighten up the model's face so you know it three percent is enough you know we don't want to like go too crazy on this and we're gonna basically gonna bring out the uh use the dodge on the uh, highlighted areas here so that's the whole whole purpose of dodging and burning you just want to bring out the lighted up areas now again i should i mentioned this in my last video i i should be using a wacom tablet for this uh, it makes life a lot easier but i'm using my mouse which is not very good of me it's not a very clever thing to do but just for the sake of this tutorial i'm just showing you guys So yeah, I just want to sort of like lighten up the uh, face here. And then. All right, we're going to spring this up. Actually, I think what I might want to do is uh, have a look i'm just gonna just quickly check something yeah so what i can do basically is just uh just gonna quickly check something here and i normally what what you can also do is just uh bring out the uh, black and white uh bring out the black and white to see where you're going over but to be honest I, I i don't i don't feel i need it in this particular image it is a good idea to use it but obviously the light the model's uh, uh face is uh shining as it is so i feel i'm gonna be okay with this but technically speaking if you do want to take it to the next level you can actually do that you can actually use the uh, black and white layer just to bring things out. It's totally your choice. It's optional the way you want to work. I'm just going to bring out these areas. So Yeah, so as I was saying, it's just a case of uh, dodging the light areas. So you can see here on the... Uh, models uh, chest area here we can just sort of like bring these out a bit i right, just bear with me guys i'm just going to uh just take a sip of water i do apologize guys Uh, sorry about that guys my uh, mouth was dried up there but yeah so you can see uh, you can see right away when you look at the model's face already it's kind of like bringing those lights out so you can see on the cheekbone how it brings that beautiful uh, gel the green gel color turquoise you can see how brilliant it's brought it out and let me just show you guys the difference that this makes so there can you see that so there's a, a before and there's a after so you can see how beautiful it's brought the highlights out and the notice how i've uh, also used three percent in my last video i was going about like 13 percent because uh because of the way that image was took you know um uh, depending on how the image is uh, taken you know 
you might want to go with the flow of 3% or you might want to bring it high you know it's, per it's personally your choice you know there's no wrong or right answer so let's just see how that is looking there again you can see how beautiful that is there do you see that look how beautiful that is it's always getting there now the next thing we want to do here is i'm just going to zoom into the image here i'm just going to duplicate this uh, background layer there so we've just got another copy of it here let's bring that up now this one i'm just gonna go close now you can see all these uh, marks here on the model's face again as i mentioned doesn't have to be perfect but you know just try and make it reasonable so you can see i'm gonna click on the uh, keep the alt alt uh, key press and uh, use our patch tool now with the patch tool i'm just gonna go closely in so you can see these uh, lines here i'm just gonna like slightly go over this and then i just want to get rid of these so again so you just want to like get rid of these uh you know these small kind of marks so again you know the idea is just trying to make the uh, image to stand uh, out a bit you know there is a difference between making the image stand out or and making it look perfect you know we obviously we don't want to make it look perfect because you know that's just going to take loads and loads of time this tutorial will be like hours and hours long we don't want to do that but i'm just giving you guys an idea of uh, how we can just sort of like make it reasonable you know just make it stand out the way we want to so, so yeah guys so you just want to like go around uh, each area whatever looks a bit bad and then just kind of like go over it a bit So you can see that line there. Again, we just want to go over it there. And that's the whole idea, guys. We just want to make it tidying it up, basically. That's all we want. Again, it's not about making the image look perfect, you know. I mean, uh, if some uh, retailer came up to me and said, oh, we want to use... Uh, we want you to edit a photo but because it's going to be used on our billboard maybe outside on the shop window then i can understand i can understand why you'd want to you know spend a lot of time on the uh, image but because this is a collaboration you know i'm just doing this for the sake of this tutorial so you know obviously we don't want to make this image look too perfect so yeah just gonna zoom out a bit see if anything else looks a bit bad there let's have a look so before right that's before that's after can you see that can you see there guys can you see what's going on there so i've got rid of the uh i've got rid of the uh marks on the uh, model's face here now what we're gonna do here is now what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna take this uh image to the next level so what i'm gonna do here is basically go back to my uh actions and then what we want to do here is if i can find my uh, frequency separation i'm just gonna use this tool here and i'm just gonna bring this guy down a bit 3.6 click ok oh 
oops, then we're just gonna move it now. Can you see this um, is created this layer? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go into the uh, low, the low frequency, and then I'm gonna go into my uh, brush tool here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm on the right brush anyway, so it's gonna go over the uh, skin. Now I'm just gonna show you what this thing does. Now if I go over the face, just to show you, just for the sake of it. Can you see there what, so if you imagine that mark there going onto the sin, skin is basically smoothing it out a bit. So I've gone over the face just to show you what it look on the black part, on the black backdrop. So imagine what that's going to do on the face if I just go over it. Can you see there what it's doing there guys? It's just kind of like basically lighting it up a bit. The whole idea is to just sort of like brighten up the skin a bit there. Now the frequency uh, separation tool, I highly, I highly recommend it when uh, airbrushing your images. It is a very powerful uh, tool. I, you know, I always tend to use it when I'm uh, editing images. Definitely worth it. I mean, look, even if I use it on the model's body, can you see how? how that is actually bringing it out even so you can see a bit of a gel color on the female's body there you can see how beautiful that brings the uh, gel out now we don't want to go too crazy on this i think because the uh, because the gel color is actually looking perfect on the uh, model's body I, I, I won't use it too much there but what i'll do here is gonna go on right there just basically i think the best bet is just to make it basically use it on the main uh, highlights of the image so i'm just gonna quickly go over it you know i'm not gonna spend uh, loads and loads of time you know to try and make it look as good as I can and there you go guys now let's do a before now there look can you see the difference that does guys so there we've got the before after before after and what I can do is if I feel like that's too much I can always like you know go down can you see it look look on the face there so i think what i want to do here is i think i'll probably take it down a bit as you know i don't want to go too crazy on it so i'll take it about yeah about 34 percent there guys so now the next thing here what i can choose to do is it's gonna let's close this off here then what i want to do is uh use one of my actions here right so i want to use the uh, actually uh so i might have forgot to do something here so if i just go on right, dodge yeah guys so uh, what I can do if I want it I can actually take this a level further so I can choose to uh, if I go on my uh, skin if I go on this skin softening tool I've got so many uh, actions on here it's right uh, so the one that I'm looking for is the skin airbrush just gonna click on that guy there so again, I've used this in my previous uh, previous videos. Again, it's kind of like the frequency separation, but done in a different way. This kind of like smoothens it out a little bit as well. So let's have a look. Again, now I'll show you what this thing does here. You've already probably seen it, so... 
if I go on, I'm just gonna bring this guy up a bit. So yeah, we just want to kind of like smoothen it out here. Again, if I want to, uh, if I want to like, you know, raise it up, I can always uh, do this. Or if I want to bring it down. Now, now the reason why, the reason why you can't notice much difference is because I've still got the flow down. If I bring this up slightly, if I take it to a full 100 and then, there now you can probably notice here. There, look, you see that guys there. So I think about, if I choose to go about, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, if I go about like 84%, that should uh, be good enough here. You know, you can always uh, bring it down a little bit if you're not happy with it. But this is just to give you guys an idea. Can you see how how flawless it's making the uh, image look? Now we can uh, use this on the female's uh, body as well. So again, look see how flawless it makes the skin there now you can you can get this um, action off uh, if you google it and just type in uh, free actions or something free actions for photoshop and you should be able to get stuff like this you know it's not it's not difficult to find and uh, it's very useful when you're editing so Yeah, that's that's absolutely beautiful there. You can see how flawless the skin is now. It's on eighty four percent again. I can either raise it down or raise it up. You know, that's down to you. I think I'd leave it around about sixty seven. You know, just to make it look real as well. So let me just show you now, guys. So can you see the before and after there? I'll take them all off so you can see one by one. So there. So this is when I was uh, burning the image. When I used the dodge and burn. We bought the highlights up. We bought the uh, background copy when I was using the, uh, the patch tool to get rid of the marks. Then we used the frequency separation. Airbrushing. There you go guys. Look how beautiful that is just amazing there now now the thing is now what most photographers but photographers will tend to do is they want to take it a level further you know they can do by all means i mean to be fair i i actually like this image the way it is but if i want it to i can actually choose I'm just go on uh, color effects pro so that is a free 30 days trial if you do want to use it, guys, uh, feel free to do so. So I'm using a free trial myself. Now, to be fair, I don't think I'd uh, use uh, Color Effects Pro on this, you know, because I really like the image as it is. But, you know, it's just something additional you might want to use. But to be fair, I, I wouldn't really... Uh, I mean, that look doesn't look too bad, B10. I mean, I wouldn't really use it um, personally myself, but this is just an idea of, for you guys, you know, if you want to take this a level further. But if I went to B10, you know, it, it does give it that kind of like a cold kind of look. You've got all these uh, different options there. So you got these different categories, so might be something you might want to use but to be honest with you i don't think i am going to use it for this image because it's only just going to spoil it more but i i actually love the way it is but i'm only just showing you this just to show you guys you can take it a step further if you want to make it really pop out so if i use low kick, can you see here you've got all these uh options here 
you know you don't have to uh, you don't always have to go by this but this is just to give you an idea you've got the high key option again you can play around with the uh, settings but again you know only use it if you feel you have to but I don't need to so I'm just gonna cancel from this guy because I feel that looks very authentic you know very genuine you know the lightning's perfect the model's uh, face looks perfect everything so i think i'm gonna leave it at that but this is it guys this is to just to give you an idea how to make the uh, image pop out now my next um, video i'm hoping to do a review on uh, a dji pocket 2 and i am gonna go into other stuff as well lightning how i shoot my portraits you don't want to miss that just share share this uh, video like subscribe i have a lot of exciting things coming guys you don't want to miss that and i just want to take this uh, opportunity to, to say thank you for watching and uh, thank you for supporting this channel it really means a lot i always always appreciate you watching my videos and uh, there you have it guys and i hope to see you on my next video again thank you for watching goodbye for now